when I was 12, which would have been about 1950, uh, I made my trip to my grandparents' farm. Each of my brothers and sisters had a, chant, a period of a week or two, or sometimes even three, on the farm. One summer they asked me, when I was about 12, if I wanted to come during deer hunting season because they knew one of the hunters that stayed in this, their home had become a tourist home. Uh, one of the hunters had a son about my age named Carl. So I would look forward to meeting Carl and we slept out on a sun porch uh, on two cots that, uh, and that was far away from the bedrooms where Grandpa and Grandma and Aunt Lou slept. Uh, Carl was a very handsome young guy and uh, um, more traditionally masculine than I. And uh, we were sleeping right next to each other and we were listening to country music. He loved uh, West Virginia music. And I reached over and started petting him and, and then uh, fondling his genitals. And uh, I tried to put his hand on my genitals and he refused, uh, but he let me continue to masturbate him. So that was the first time I'd had sex with another guy uh, and I know I'm not conscious of having been dreaming or thinking about wanting it until then. My grandparents, especially Grandma and Aunt Lou, always went to the tent revivals that were held in Conesqui Valley every summer and a, a uh, evangelist named D.J. Daniels <laughs> Uh, would give these fire and brimstone sermons uh, and after the sermon he said uh, now every head bowed every eye closed have you done anything this week that you feel guilty or sorry for and so on if so just gently raise your hand and I raised my hand and the next morning when I got up for breakfast, which Grandma was cooking on the wood stove in the kitchen, and I, no one else was up yet, and she looked at me and she said, I noticed you raised your hand last night. And I said, Grandma, you were supposed to have your eyes closed. Uh, and I refused to answer any more questions about it. I must have felt guilt or I wouldn't have raised my hand and I was raised by uh, parents. We went to church every week, a Protestant church and so on. Mm. But the guilt wasn't very deep. <laughs> uh, it was the first time that I had sex with another guy, uh, even though it wasn't very mutual. Uh, and. It was in the context of a friendship that continued for a number of summers, though it never was sexual again. <laughs>